Girls, y'all should already know at this point. This is for the fellas. Okay, so my guys, when it comes to approaching girls, I cannot stand when I see a beautiful girl, right? I mean, she looks scrumptious, right? And then I'm, I'm thinking about talking to her. I'm, you know, I'm a little on the fence about it. And then one of my homeboys goes, bro, stop being scared, dog. Bro, just go talk to her. Why are you acting like, acting all stiff, bro? Come on, bro. bro. Bruh, you won't talk to her though. You won't you, you won't talk to her. And then they hit you with a line like, Hey bro, uh if you want me to put you on, no, I can. Fellas, pro tip, if your homeboy ever says let me put you on, do not follow through. Please. What girl do you know is gonna tell her love story like, well, we met because um his homeboy came and uh he he put him on. Moral of the story is do it at your own pace. It'll work out in your favor. I'm about to spread some facts. First of all, let me get this straight. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal, period. If you wonder why your breath stink, it's probably because you don't floss. Avocados taste like grass dirt sauce. Caramel is pronounced caramel and not caramel. And pecan is pronounced pecan and not pecan. If you don't run up the steps after you turn the downstairs light off, you're a maniac. And I'm not scared of the dark. I'm scared of what's in the dark. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Spiders are the scariest thing on the planet. PS4 is better than Xbox One. Summer's better than winter, but fall is the best season. Androids may have better technology than iPhones, but I guarantee you when the next iPhone comes out, I'll be first in line. Anime is not a cartoon, it is a spiritual experience. And lastly, soda is soda and not pop, and lollipops are lollipops, not dum-dums. Thank you for your time. All right, I got some more facts for y'all. I will never be too old to watch Spongebob. If you never played that game as a kid where you had to jump onto things because you thought the floor was lava, you have not lived your life. Y'all ever been in class and had one of those dreams? You know, you got your head down and then you start falling in your dream. And as soon as you wake up, you be like, oh, shit. Then the teacher be like, you straight? You be like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. If you have not spent at least a couple months binge watching either Family Guy, The Office, or Friends, I don't know if we can actually be friends. If we're in a relationship and you play with my hair, I'm getting a ring. I like the hot more than the cold because it's much better for me to be sweating than freezing my ass off. If you see me walking with my headphones in, do not talk to me. Give me a minute. I am in thug mode, okay? I am whipping and flipping bricks in my head, okay? And you talking to me is no. Lastly, if you live in the South where you know it can tend to get very hot and humid, please put on deodorant. Please. Thank you for your time. Girls, listen up. Why is it that you can have an attitude sometimes, and then when we ask you what the problem is, you say, nothing, nothing's wrong, I'm fine. And then when we say, okay, well then I'll leave you alone, now you're mad again. Why is it that when we ask you if you want something to eat, you say no, but then when we show up with food, now you want to eat half my bag of fries, a bite of my burger, and two of my chicken tenders. Girls, y'all can ask us, do you want me to come over? And we'll say, yeah, you can come over. And then y'all like to say, but do you want me to come over? If I said yes, you can come over. That means yes, I would like for you to come over. If I ask you for your Snapchat or your Instagram, why are you giving it to me if you're not going to text me back? Women, the reason we say women are always right is because sometimes there's no winning with you guys. We can hit you with a fact. Like, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And you know what you'll say? Nah, because you ain't counting right. 3 plus 3 equals 5. 3, 4, 5. Okay, you ain't doing math right. And that's when we just... You're right. Thank you for your time. Alright, look, I got some more facts to spread. Be honest, everybody, with the Apple Watch. You only really use it when you need to pin your iPhone because you can't find it. The Blue Jolly Rancher is the best one. Twizzlers are delicious. You're either watching this on the toilet or on your bed. You're also procrastinating about something right now. Tomatoes are disgusting, but ketchup and salsa are both delicious. Milky Ways are disgusting. Since you've been on TikTok, you've probably changed the way you dress. Men, the correct way to eat a banana is to take a piece off with your finger and eat it like so. You probably look back at your past self and think, who let me do that? But in reality, in a couple years, you'll probably look back at yourself now and think, And lastly, to reiterate, <clears throat> soda is pronounced soda and not pop. Thank you for your time. These are some things that piss me off. Chewing with your mouth open. Walking in front of me just so that you can walk extremely slow. I swear I'll just be walking. I just, you know.
Same way I always be walking. If somebody just want to step in front of me and go, like, if, if, if you ain't get your ass out the way. When girls come to parties just so that they can stand there and watch other people dance. When people pronounce soda pop. When I have a pack of Starbursts and I offer somebody one, and the first thing they do is start digging through so that they can find a pink one. Like, who do you think you are? When I pull out one single piece of gum in the back of the class, silently, and there's that one dude that sit all the way in the front of the class and be like, Hey, you got some gum? And lastly, when people say, oh, you famous on TikTok? Well, that don't really matter because it don't really translate to nothing. Well, who follow me? You? Your mama? Your daddy? Thank you for your time. These are some more things that piss me off. If you are in the bathroom and you know that you are... Courtesy flush. Please, because you... You just smell terrible. If you see me wearing shades indoors, mind your business. Why is it that in every scary movie I watch, the black person always dies first? The black person can be in the middle of the line walking through the house. Somebody here and here, and somehow the person here goes missing first. Then you got the people behind them like, where'd Keith go? For all of you watching this, this atrocity here is not mine. I am a proud and sad Giants fan. The best cartoons growing up were Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry. No discussion. Leftover food tastes better when you heat it up in the oven versus when you heat them up in the microwave. But I'll still be putting them in the microwave because I don't want to wait that long. Lastly, if it's 90 degrees outside, why are you coming outside in pants and a hoodie? You're making me hot. Thank you for your time. Alright fellas, I'm gonna give y'all a life tip about how to get girls. Now keep in mind this tip may not work for everybody, but in my experience I've seen that this generally works in most cases. When you see a girl you think you want to pursue, it's important to keep distant. Especially in the beginning because it's a way for you to gather information. You can see the things she likes to do, see the people she hangs out with. If she's one of the more popular girls in the school that's pretty attractive, it's imperative that you keep distant. The reason I say this is because think about it logically. If she's that attractive, you have to understand that you're not the only one who wants her. So there's going to be a lot of guys coming after her at the same time. And the chances are she's curving most of those guys. So it's really important to play it cool from a distance. Get her to notice you, but don't make it obvious. And once you've gotten her to notice you a couple times and you think that you've piqued her interest, here's the key. Act like you don't care. It will completely confuse her because she's going to start wondering why doesn't that guy come after me like everybody else does. And it's important to be patient. Her interest will continue to grow, so it's important to make your move during that duration because if you wait too long, she might lose interest. And that's how you get it. Alright fellas, when it comes to the friend zone, one thing we gotta understand about the friend zone is that you were put into the friend zone because from her first thought of you, she did not want a romantic relationship with you. Now that does not mean that you cannot get a romantic relationship with her, but it means that you'll have to work a lot harder to get it. The only way that I know that this can be done is by becoming her best friend. Now keep in mind, just because you're her best friend does not mean that you guys will end up dating. I don't want you to think that you have to spend three years being her best friend just because you've been waiting to date her for three years. But with that being said, support her. Be there for her when no one else is. Take her out on friendly dates. And when she talks about guys, leave room for tension. Because before you know it, when you talk about girls, she'll start getting jealous. And you'll start to play this game with each other. You know, she'll be like, well, let me tell you about this guy. And you're like, oh, well, let me tell you about this girl. And through that tension that you left space for, she can realize that she might actually have feelings for you. And boom, you have successfully gotten out of the friend zone. Alright fellas, look, I'm here to help y'all out. Things you should not do when you're in a relationship. Now some of these may be obvious and some of these may be not so obvious. Cheating. I, I don't really have shit else to say about that one. Do not eat your girl's food. You will get shot. Not all girls do this, but if you're going out to eat with your girl, bring enough money to make sure you could pay for the whole thing. Instill some trust in your girl, alright? Just because she said thanks to a guy that called her cute doesn't mean that she wants it. Don't do anything that if your girl did, you would get mad about. If it's that time of the month, just be happy. She's not pregnant. And lastly, you can keep your relationship private. That's fine. It doesn't have to be public. But just don't keep it so damn private that nobody knows you're in a relationship. Your girl is your girl for a reason. She's with you because she wants you. Just treat her right and she'll stay. If you're a girl, just go ahead and keep scrolling because this post is not for you. This post is for the boys. Now guys, level with me real quick. Has there ever been a girl that you were on the fence about? You know, like you, you like them obviously, you're attracted to them, but for some reason there's something that's just not clicking. Like you're not sure 
Well, you're not sure what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Well, I have something to help you with that, okay? This is what you gotta do, okay? You need to go to the bathroom and choke your chicken, okay? Now, once you do, okay, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna finish. Now, as soon as you finish, the key is to think about the girl. Now, if you think about her and you think, I wanna cuddle. Date her! This is the girl for you. But now if you think about her and you think disgusting, then it's lust and it's it's not going. Girls, you know the drill. Just just go ahead and keep scrolling. Keep scrolling because this one is for the boys. So guys, going into relationships is something that we need to understand. Okay, men are logical creatures. Women are emotional creatures. I'll give you the perfect example. A girl can shoot you in your leg. I mean shoot you. Like with a gun. Right? And you are bleeding from your leg. And you're like, oh my god, why would you shoot me? Like, I can't believe you. Logic. Right? And she's like, well, why did you eat my leftovers? Emotion. Women won't make the connection. Like, the, 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 the connection, like, a, a bullet wound and you not being able to eat does not carry the same weight. But it's because they're putting their emotions over logic. Right? And as a man, you can't really combat that. So when you're making logical decisions, think about her emotions because you will get shot. You know what the worst thing is? Girls don't really have to deal with this problem. So this is for the boys. Yo, fellas, you ever been sitting in class? Like, you just be chilling. Like, you're not even doing nothing. Like, you just chilling. And out of nowhere, like, your penis be like. What's going on in here? And it's like it never happens at a convenient time, like when everybody's taking a test and not paying attention to you. No, it happens during times like when the teacher goes, Hey, Xavier, um, could you come up and answer this, uh, this question on the board for me? And it's like you just start panicking, but then that's when you start adapting. You know, you start playing games like pocket pool, acting like you're cold, putting your hand in your sleeve and your hoodie. Get up and stretch for no reason, knowing you ain't got to stretch. But look, you're not alone. We all had to go through it. You got the boys to support you.